If you have a C8 Corvette and it has this weird kind of creak to it, then this video is for you. Today, we're gonna to be trying to figure out how to get rid of that creaking sound. Now, my C8's a 21 model and you go at low speeds, it's just like creaking. I don't know if it's from the roof or what's going on, but I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, uh, a lot of researching online. So we're gonna take all the hours of my research and put it all in this video and hopefully this helps you if you got the same problem. So if your car is making this sound, this video is for you. So this is the sound we're trying to fix, this little creaking. It's only at slow speeds, you go high, you don't hear it. So the first step is you gotta take the roof off your Corvette. Now what we're gonna be doing is cleaning all the seals on the top and on the car with some soap water. Don't use glass cleaner because it's got alcohol. Now just gently go over it, try to get all the debris off of it um, because you don't want to get too much inside the little cracks right there. But you're going to do this on both sides and you also want to do it in the trunk as well. And I'll show you where to in the trunk. But this is just to get all the dirt and grime off of it for step two, which I'll show you here in a second. Now, we're gonna continue with that last step, but along here. So you're gonna, same thing, soap water, try to clear up all this grime. Because you know, if you take your top off a lot, eventually you're gonna get a whole bunch of dirt and dust and all kinds of stuff that may get in here. So clean it up real good. Make sure you get this part too. Everything that's got rubber on it. Now again, don't go too much inside of here because this is where your water drains out. And you're also gonna to wanna to do it back here on this rubber. Now, I don't know why, don't ask me all the details. I've just watched a lot of videos and a lot of research, this is what they do. Some do with the frame twisting, but it's supposed to be, who knows what the deal is. All I know is this is what they did. So you're gonna do both sides. Make sure you get all the dirt off, everything that you can see. And then we're about to move on to step two, which is the most important part. Now for the third and most important step, you need this, silicone grease. Now for you former Mustang owners, this may look familiar to you guys. Um, but this right here is supposedly what solves your problem. Now you're gonna wanna get a little bit, put it on your fingers, and now you wanna smear it on here. But you don't wanna make it too thick. You just wanna make it super, super thin lines. And you're gonna go across all the rubber parts. So, just real smooth like, almost like it's not even on there. And you're gonna go over every single rubber part in this Corvette, even the top. So, go along everything. Now, as I said before, do not gunk it up in between the cracks because the cracks is where the water runs out. So if you put too much stuff in there, you're gonna have some drainage problems. And you definitely don't want that. So go across this. Don't forget to do the back of the car over here. Every single rubber part in here. So don't ask me why you gotta do the trunk. Like I said, I watched a lot of videos. You gotta do the trunk. So we're gonna fast forward through all this stuff because it's gonna take me a while, maybe a few minutes. My camera's about to die. So I'll come back with you on the fourth step and We'll see if it fixes the issue. Now, for the final step, you put everything back together. And yes, I have a helper for this very reason. So we don't mess it up. Now, if you put too much of that silicone grease on, it's gonna be a little hard to get in there. So just make sure it locks in, presses it down. Now, lock all the stuff. And if you can't get the top on, just go back over with the rag and take the grease off. But now let's take this car for a drive and let's see if I fix the issue. So I'm test driving the car to make sure the creaking went away. And it definitely quietened up a bit, but it's still there. It's like coming from this area right here. It's gotta do something with the top. If you guys have any, any other suggestions, let me know. 
Um, definitely quieted down though. So something around there. Comment down below what you think it is.